So I see I posted a video where I talked about how the ingenious nature of evil people and uh, in my comment section there was this guy that was cussing me out like the evils do drug and then drugs are like come on man this is the problem some of the youth do not understand how this world works what are you talking about the evils do drug like they don't do drug in Lagos or they don't do drugs in Edo as far as I'm concerned everybody do drug like people say, the, the, the government you have is a reflection of the kind of people you have. So the problem of Nigeria is no evils in any way. It is us, because some of us cannot even think. Like I said in my previous video, that the, the evil model should be taught in school, because like the evils were able to, to raise themselves from after the destruction of the civil war, they were able to raise themselves today. They are the, like the leading, leading tribe or ethnicity in, the, in Nigeria. Now you want to hate them because they are doing better than you. Instead of you to think of how, what do I do? How do I learn from these people? This ingenious nature of the evils you are complaining. In my life, I've had more terrible things done to me by other tribes. Even people from my tribe and, and people from other tribes that are non evils than the Igbos. The problem you have is no Igbo. The problem you have is the government. Have you ever asked yourself why the government spent so much? They have, the budget is so much, but they don't have anything to show for it. Have you ever asked a local government chairman that the money they gave to you, wh what did you do with it? Have you ever asked the state government, which road did you tie or what infrastructure did you put in place? And you think the Igbos are your problem? You've been taught and brainwashed to believe the Igbos are your problem and to hate the Igbos. Meanwhile, the Igbos are the most contributing ethnic group to this society. The pride that we have today, most of the things that we have that we're, that we're proud about among the League of Nature, Nature, uh, Nations in Africa are actually Igbos. The economy of Nigeria is actually run by the Igbos. And you don't see it. Sometimes I ask myself, why do people hate the Igbos so much? I can't find exactly what they've done that other tribe have not done. Even worse. The Ibo, an Igbo man in my lifetime, an Igbo man has never been president. So if an Igbo man has never been president, that means all the problems, the mess we find ourselves are not done by the Igbos because they've never been in position of leadership. They were not the ones making the laws. So if an Igbo man has not been president, it means the other tribe, are the ones who has who put Nigeria in the mess that they find themselves today. But you will come out without even thinking that you're, you're, you're hating on the evils when they haven't actually done anything. So I don't understand. I don't understand. Your poverty is not caused by the evils. You should ask your father or your mother why you are poor. The evils are not the ones why you did not go to school. I said the evils are genius. Look at it. It's evident. The, the present work, the highest scoring student is an Igbo man or from the Igbo, Igbo tribe. I look at many other, many years before now, you see that most of the people who, who came out top in their classes, like in work and jam and all of that, are Igbos. The first time I saw it, I was shocked. So I don't understand why you think the Igbos are your problem. Igbos are not the problems. The government is the problem. Ask yourself, what has the government done? The, the other thing I saw, this says like, like this adage that says the government, the kind of government you have is a reflection of the people in the country. Yes, it's true. I was talking to a friend and I realized that the last election, it was the same poor people who helped the government, who helped the politicians to rig election. How could you help the politicians to rig election against yourself? It's like playing a game and... Somebody is playing a game with you and you're helping the person to win yourself. Like, you're helping the person to cheat, to win you and you're part of the game. So, when I see people defending a failed government online, it makes me sick because I don't understand how could you, who could not afford a single rent, defending somebody who has been, who is a career politician, who has been in power all his life and all he does is steal money. You are defending them. Because the person is your tribe. And when you go to the, 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 four, the first station, there's no tribe there. You pay the same thing. When you're paying your house rent, they don't ask you because, oh, I'm Yoruba or I'm Igbo or I'm Edo. So pay less. No, you pay the same thing. So why can't you just see that? The people who has the best interest, 
the, of the people I had are the people you're supposed to support. Why would you support somebody because he's from your tribe? I don't understand. Tribe. Don't try to kill people. Brothers, kill brothers. Sisters, kill brothers. Sisters. So why would you just support somebody because he came from your local government? Rather than supporting somebody who you're going to benefit from. So a lot of Nigerians really deserve what they are getting. Because if they don't, you won't be defending a failed government. And then you're saying Igbos are your problem. You hate Igbos. What is the difference between an Igbo man and yourself? No difference. It's just that the Igbo man is smarter than you. And understand how to... Okay, the Igbo man already understand that the country has failed. So they try to put themselves in a situation where they are able to navigate out of this, this dungeon, this trench, this situation where the country finds themselves and then they're doing better. They're not thinking of how to become government, uh, the president. They already know. So they are able to, they are able to figure out, navigate out of this crisis that we find ourselves today in Nigeria. So don't say Igbos are the problem. We should learn from the Igbo model and the, 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 the way they've been able to carry themselves after the civil war to the present pos position where they are. So if you, if you, if you think you, you believe contrary to what I just said, it's, meet me at the comment section. See you guys later. Cheers.